Hey guys, it's Maya from Kamara Yoga. Today we are going to be reading one of my favorite books about the ocean called Commotion in the Ocean by Giles Andrea. Before we start to read, we're going to listen to our singing bowl to help our brains get ready to focus and to follow along. While you're listening, sit up nice and tall, either crisscross or in a chair or on your knees. You may close your eyes if that helps you to listen even better. Make sure you're sitting very still. You can also put a thumb up on your knee when you can't hear the sound anymore, just so that you notice that you stopped listening. You could then take a deep breath. Here we go. Well, can go for a very long time. Nice job focusing your mind. We're going to read each page of the book, and for each animal, we get to do a different pose. I'll show you a pose that I like to do. You could come up with your own as well. Make sure you're following along and taking deep breaths for each pose that we do. Commotion in the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea, swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who's hiding there. Crab. The crab likes walking sideways, and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Crab pose. Come on to your seat with your feet in front of you, your fingers facing towards your body. Press your tummy up, and then you can waddle with a crab this way, and this way, and this way, and this way, and take a deep breath. And again. Hmm. Turtles! We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our legs on dry, our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch, and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Those cute little sea turtles. Pitter patter, pitter patter. So put your feet out wide from sitting on your bottom. You can bend your knees, put your hands between your legs, underneath your legs, and then around on top. And then tuck your head down like a turtle. You can see turtle side to side. Take a deep breath. One more. Hmm. Good job. Dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them try to speak. It's not how do you do, as I'd say to you. It's more of a click, whistle, squeak. Click, click, squeak, squeak. Whistle, whistle, click. Dolphin pose. Come on to your knees and your hands. You're going to bring your hands all the way down, your elbows on the floor, hands together, and then you're going to tuck your toes and press your hips up. And back. Whoa. You can try to straighten out your arms. Make sure your head is not on the floor. You're using your elbows and your shoulders to hold you up. You can come back and forward and back like a dolphin. You can even take some dolphin hops. Whoa. Nice shot, dolphin. Darling, the prettiest 
thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Now this angelfish is making a really beautiful triangle shape. Here and here. We're gonna make a triangle pose with our body. Stand up, put your feet out wide, turn one set of toes up to the side of your mat. Reach your same arm forward and then down. Reach your other arm straight up. So you're making several triangle shapes with your legs and with your arms. You can look down at the floor, or you can look up to the ceiling and stretch. Breathe in and out. And let's do the other side. So come all the way back up. Turn your toes back. Turn your other toes this way. Reach your arm out, reach forward and down. Reach your other arm all the way up to the ceiling. Breathe. all the way back up. Nice angelfish pose. Next is jellyfish. A jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite silly. But she knows it's not all that useful, but jiggling's good for being silly. Wow. All right. Jellyfish, come on your back. Lay down. Wiggle your toes up like a jiggly jellyfish. And then wriggle your arms like a jiggle of jellyfish. Wriggle, 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 wiggle, 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 whoop. <sighs> all right, float like a jellyfish all the way up. Boop, 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 boop. <sighs> Next. Dun, 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 shark! I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide? Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Shark pose. Lay on your belly. Put your hands behind you. You can make a fin like this, and your chin on the floor, and then wiggle back and forth. Or for more stretch, put your hands together, and then reach your fingers back to your toes. So lift your shoulders up and lift your hands up. Toes together. There we go. Shark pose. <sighs> nice job. That's a scary shark. Swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. Uh -oh. All right, swordfish, lay back on your belly. You're gonna reach one arm forward like you have a long sword for your nose. Reach your other hand back to make the fin of the shark coming up out of the water. You gotta lift up, swordfish, breathe. And switch sides. Other hand, other foot. Press your foot up. Reach up. Breathe. Nice job, swordfish. Octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Now, octopus works really well if you have another person to sit with. So if you have another person to sit with, you could sit back to back. So the other person's right here. And then you're both gonna put your feet out and your arms out. You might need to scoot a little bit away from them because then you can lean back and lift your feet. And then you have four octopus. You each have four arms. One, two, three, four. And then the other person has one, two, three, four. And that makes eight. Wiggly legs. Good job, wiggly octopus. <sighs> stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Though. 
Okay, so stingray, we're gonna make the stingray shape with our legs, which is like kind of what we do for butterfly. So your feet are together and your knees are wide. That makes the shape of the stingray. And then for the long tail, reach your hands all the way up and roll down and back for the long stingray tail. And then you can wiggle side to side. Good, and then reach stingray tail all the way up. Oh, excellent. Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, you can snip all your fingers in two. Huh. All right, lobster. These lobsters are up and dancing. So we're gonna be up on our knees, like we're a long lobster, and snippity snap. Almost like a flamenco-ing lobster. Yeah. Deep sea. Miles below the surface, where the water is dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures. Are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna be like this weird one down here. And he's got like a little lamp on his head. I think it can like come out and distract a fish and then he's got his big chompy jaws. So we're gonna lay down on our tummies again and zip our legs together and our arms to our side and then lift your chin up and then pretend you have a lamp on your head and bobble back and forth and you can wiggle side to side. Yeah. Deep, dark, deep, 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 dark sea. <clears throat> Blue whale. Whoosh. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Wow. Ooh, okay, we'll do whale here. Whale, we're gonna start sitting on our bottom. And sometimes when whales jump up out of the ocean, they jump up and then they flip over and they land belly up. So we're gonna be flipping over in that flipping over part. Feet close to your body, hands on the floor. You can actually turn your one hand away from you. And then you're gonna press your feet into the floor, lift your hips up and reach your hand back. Like you're flipping over, whoosh. Good, let's do that on the other side. So again, pull, point your fingers away from you, reach your up, other hand up, press in, and reach back. Press your hips up, your tummy up. Whoosh. Nice job, whales. And then down here it says, we're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous, but it's our favorite thing. They're like little starfish down there. So we're gonna pretend we're starfish splattered, not splattered, uh, splotched onto a whale. So hand, hands and legs out wide. And then you can put your head down and hang on tight. Take two breaths. That was great. Nice shot. It's a very comfortable spot to be in. All right. Walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Hmm. So walruses have these like flippers that they walk on. So we're going to put our knees on the floor and our hands on the floor like this and kind of flip her back and forth. And you can stick your teeth out like you have really long tusks. And 
go backward. breathing option of your choice. We'll do five. Here we go. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Can't wait to see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.